We now turn our attention to the UK Classic Bike Magazine Championship in the 500cc class, one of the most hotly contested series that there's been for many, many years. But uh, heading them away yet again on bike 14 is the familiar figure of Bob Heath, the man who builds visors in second place, though. And uh, this is the only twin-cylinder machine to have won a Classic Bike Championship round. It is the bike of number 26, Tony Myers, the Sealy Weslake. Built by uh, Roger Titchmarch. And look at that, absolutely shoulder to shoulder they are as they come into Mount Herpin. But Bob Heath's having none of it. Tony having to uh, sit back a little and uh, regroup his attack. Is it going to come here again? Tony Myers, believe it or not, has been racing for about 27 seasons. Most of them has appeared here at Oliver's Mount. And that is a rare sight, a twin-cylinder bike in the Classic Magazine Championship. But behind them, there's quite a bit of daylight. We may well have expected to have seen John Cruncher on the fabulous Unity BSA there. But John has not had the best of starts. It's not been a good championship for him this year. But these two scrapping it out all the way around this twisty circuit. Uh, it's the local track, actually, for number 26, Tony Myers. Bob Heath lives at Walsall in Staffordshire. And uh, Bob, a very serious competitor in all sorts of events. The Manx Grand Prix now, I think, won more Manx Grand Prix than anybody else. He was third in the Isle of Man 125cc TT just a few years ago. Now, it looks to me as though that twin-cylinder bike is uh, a real handful. Eagle Eyes may well have spotted, by the way, on bike number 38. Vic Allen, there you see a glimpse of him. The uh, multiple British motocross champion Vic Allen, uh, a one-time presenter on BBC Two's Top Gear as well. Uh, he's right in the thick of the action here. He took a tumble here a year ago, but uh, he's back for more this time. But this battle royal raging between Bob Heath and Tony Myers. Tony is not letting go, but what a handful that twin cylinder bike is in comparison. A big single cylinder bike, you can almost steer it on the throttle, but the twins, which do tend to run on a little bit more, down the hill they sweep. And coming into the frame now on bike number one is John Cronshaw. Uh, Crony, a notorious slow starter frequently, but uh, once he gets his finger out, the message is coming loud and clear, and John Cronshaw, bike number one, stalking the two leaders. And would you believe all three in the leading positions are 47 years of age? That is quite incredible. They're obviously keeping themselves fit. Those machines have been developed to the absolute ultimate. And uh, for a number of years now, it's been Bob Heath and John Crunshaw who've dominated this championship series. But uh, the new pretender to appear on the scene is Tony Myers. And Tony really riding the wheels off that bike here at Scarborough this weekend. But I think the chances of a challenge from John Cronshaw uh, look as though they've gone out of the window. John really made heavy weather of getting through in the early part. Because of his lowly position in the championship, it meant he started fairly well back down on the grid. But and would you believe that that man on the grass, Graham Wilson, was one of Britain's top grass track racers for many, many years. Old habits certainly die hard. And uh, Graham, who took to road racing only a couple of years ago, still goes for the green stuff whenever the opportunity arises. Bob Heath now with uh, quite a lot of daylight just behind him. Who's going to be next through it? John Cronshaw has made it through. He's moved ahead of the twin cylinder Westlake. As down the hill once more. Bob Heath, a very stylish rider. He doesn't hang off the bike too far. John Cronshaw likewise. John a bit more active, I think. Look at the way that uh, knee hangs out on the side, but uh, leaving it just a little bit late in the day. As around near Herpin once more, Bob Heath gets his motor on good and early. That steep climb up the hill and whoops, a bit of a coming together. That was Vince Gedge in front and uh, Andrew Ryder getting it all wrong, but he's perfectly OK. The bike wheeled out of the way. Oh, he's got a new fan. Is this love? There they are, leading him clear from the circuit now, and Vince gets just getting away with it. Vince on the very traditional matchless. It's still got drum brakes, whereas many of these others are modified to disc brakes. 
But uh, all sorts of action here at Scarborough, but uh, good to see riders get up and walk away as ever. John Cronshaw around Memorial for the final time, they're down to Mount Hairpin. The gap is not a big one, but it would call for something very, very special indeed. This is a very steep drop down now, just around this corner. You see the big tree there, some years ago. Uh, the man who won yesterday's Cock of the North actually climbed up that tree on the bike to head height, but coming out towards the chequered flag, out it goes, and uh, Bob Heath victorious, picking up a maximum point score, and a man who makes Bob Heath rise has shown you what the like. Our result then, win for Bob Heath, John Cronshaw in second, then it was Tony Myers, followed by Vince Gedge, Vernon Glacier and Dave Pither.